My name is Tommy Bryson. If you don't know me, you're gonna know me. Now, my credit score right now is around 631. And here's a screenshot for it. And it used to be like around 745. And I have a credit line of over $50,000 in credit line, which I can use whenever I want, however I want. You might say, Tommy, why is your credit score so low? And why are you telling me not to worry about my credit score when it's one of the most important things for my life and my future and my mortgage and all this stuff? Now, here's the reason why I say it doesn't matter. Now, when you first get your first credit card, that's automatically gonna ding your credit score. So your credit score is gonna go down by four to five points. Why? Because that's called a hard inquiry. Whenever you ask for a credit card or anything like that, you get a hard inquiry, a hard credit check as you ever wanna put it. It's basically when they check all your credit scores and they check like where do you owe money and like why they should lend money to you. They choose to either give you the credit card or they choose not to give you the credit card. Believe it or not, that's gonna affect your credit score just by applying for a credit card. But it doesn't really matter because it's a hard inquiry and those go away in one to two years. Tommy, that's too long. It's over one to two years. What I'm gonna do, my credit score is gonna be ruined. You're gonna live like for another like 45 years. Just relax, okay? Here's the deal, right? When I first got my first credit card, it was a Barclays credit card and it was an app of rewards. And the reason I got the credit card was actually to get my MacBook Pro so I can start doing videos. This was back in 2015. I got it, I maxed it out to the top. My credit score was horrible. And then I made all the payments like I had planned and then it bounced up to like a 745, right? Which was perfect, but then I only had like a $2,000 limit. And yeah, your credit score is like pretty cool or whatever, but when you go to the bank and you need a mortgage or whatever, they're gonna say like, oh, that's great. You have a great credit score, but your history says that you only borrow like $2,000. So how could you think that we can borrow, that we can lend you like over $800,000 or $500,000? I live in New York. These are real house prices that I'm talking about, right? It's not gonna happen. So I decided like, hey, the best way that I can build my credit score is by applying for more credit cards strategically. Strategically, I'm gonna make more videos about this. And if you wanna be tuned in for those videos and I'm gonna make about how to fix your credit score and how to apply for credit cards, what are the best credit cards, make sure you subscribe and leave a big thumbs up and leave a comment. Leave a comment down below what you wanna see, man. Leave a comment down below what you wanna see. Back to my story, right? When I first got my credit card, I figured all this stuff out and I said, well, what can I do about it? It's about 745 and listen, my credit score goes like this, guys. Like literally like this, but it always goes up because I'm always doing it in a smart way. So what I did was to increase my credit line and everything like that, I decided to apply for some credit cards. Now, I knew I had a business in mind, right? And this might be for a lot of you guys. A lot of you guys might be entrepreneurs and you're trying to start a business or you're either you're just trying to like get your credit scores like really high or just have a really high credit line in case you need it for anything, right? Which is fine. But I needed it specifically to start my eBay dropshipping business. So I applied for an Amazon yeah, an Amazon credit card, which has a 24% APR, which is really bad, but it doesn't matter because I'm paying it off every single month. I applied for this credit card. I got a limit of 2,500. Literally in like four to five weeks, I asked for the credit increase. No, I didn't even ask for the credit increase. They, they, they said, come on, come on, come on, come on. Here, here, here. They gave me $4,500, yo, without me even asking. And if you're wondering, that did not affect my credit score but I'm gonna teach you something right now of how it did affect my credit score in another situation, right? So my third credit card was Discover, right? I applied for Discover because of the 1.5% cash back and they also had a 5% cash back with groceries and also Amazon and they had a really, a, a whole bunch of bonuses and stuff like that, right? Guys, 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 listen, listen, listen. I know you're listening to me right now, but don't apply for these same credit cards that I did apply for because these are all just, this is just like my experience. I'm gonna make one video on, on what credit cards to choose and why to choose them. So don't take this video as that, take it as a video that's gonna teach you why your credit score doesn't matter, right? I took my Discover card, when I applied for it, I got a limit of over $7,500. Why? Why? Because I was already doing my dropshipping business and I said like, hey, I'm making income from this and I'm doing good, so I need money. You know, so they gave me $7,500 I instantly took a credit advance, a cash advance, and don't ever take a cash advance, by the way, unless you need the cash, like, really quick. But I know a way, a method of actually getting a cash advance without having to pay for a cash advance, and I'm gonna tell you that in a later video. So, subscribe, man, subscribe. I have a lot of information to give you. Now, for example, when I got the cash advance, right, it gave me a balance of over, like, $5,170. And $170 was, like, the fee for the actual cash advance, right? I took that money, I invested it into my business, and it's making me loads of money every single week. More money than the interest would ever charge me, right? And I was fine with that. I said, well, if I can take this $5,000 and I can make $100 a week from it, and I'm paying them $80 a month for it, who cares, you know? I'm not the one that's gonna be paying the card because I have investments, and the investments pay for that card, right? But then, I discovered something else, right? Which is, 
there are a whole bunch of cards out there that give you um balances so they give you a balance they give you balance transfers and they give you like 15 months to pay it off with no interest so i said all right so i applied to the this is my i'm on my fourth credit card now right i see i seem like a like a crazy person right this is not gonna end well <laughs> but i applied for the um the chase unlimited card right i think it was like 4500 because it saw my other amazon card and said like we're just matched that it's fine you're good to go Right, so they gave me that. I instantly got the credit transfer from my Discover card to this card, and I'm just making payments on this card, interest free. The Discover card is still like super maxed out because I maxed it out again for business purposes, and I'm still paying it off. But doing it this way, guys, it helps me out a lot. Now, the reason that your credit score doesn't matter is because I did all these little tactics, right? By opening a credit card, several credit cards, and asking for like a credit increase and all this stuff. Like they give you like hard increase on your account, but all these things go away eventually. And I've never missed a payment before in my life. I never have, don't plan on it whatsoever. I have reminders everywhere set around my house and I don't miss payments. I make sure I always have the money and whenever you're borrowing money, make sure you have that money right there where you can pay back ASAP. At least that's what I like to do. But there will be times where you have to take risks in business so you can actually do it and you might not have the money there but you're thinking that you're gonna make the money back in profits. Sometimes those things work, sometimes they don't. It's all about your business, it's all about what you know and your experience. So if you're between 18 to 25 and you're only interested in like building your credit score, apply for credit cards, man. Apply for credit cards, the right ones, and I'm gonna make a video all about that. Apply for credit cards and as long as you're making all the, all the credit card payments on time and you're not defaulting on them and you're not closing accounts and all these other stuff, like you'll be just fine. Now, my recommendation at first is, I'm assuming that you're new to credit cards, right? If you're watching this video and here's the deal if you're new to credit cards and you get your first credit card oh by the way don't close the credit cards that don't have like an annual fee just leave them open that helps with your credit card history and for example my first credit card remember that credit card it was a working credit card so i can get a macbook pro well that credit card insanely enough right only had a 2500 actually it only had a two thousand dollar limit on it which like sucks it's like lower than all of my credit cards now right i have over fifty thousand dollars to access with my credit cards, right? And here's the deal. I called them up the other day because I do business and stuff like that. So I, I bought something over there for the for the bonus and stuff like that. And I needed another one. I needed another iPhone Max, right? And this told me, um, well, Tommy, you don't have the, um, the credit increases in there, right? So I called them up and I said, all right, um, I need a credit increase. And the, and the woman transferred me instantly and I told her, hey, I need a credit increase. And she said, why? And how much do you need? And I said, oh, I need $5,000 extra. So that's gonna be putting me like a 7,000. She said, well, why do you need it? And I said, because um, I wanna buy another iPhone X. And as you can tell, I, I paid this card off countless times. I never had a bad payment. And then she said, all right, wait. So she went ahead and did a hard inquiry on my entire credit score, which lowered my credit score by like four to six points. I was fine with that. I knew what I was getting into. She came back and she asked me a whole bunch of questions like, hey, Tommy, why is your Chase Unlimited card like full? Why is your Amazon card full? And why is your Discover card full? Now you might think that she might say, well, there's no way we're gonna give you any money because you're already like borrowing a ton, you're leveraging a ton, so you might default on us. No, that's not what happened actually, because I explained to her, and this is the thing, right? Or you apply for a credit card increase on the phone, you can humanize yourself and you can actually like have a conversation with them better than anything else, right? So I told her like, hey, these credit cards are maxed out, but I pay them off every month, you can see that. The one on Chase, I'm actually doing it for the promotion, which is like 50 months without um having any interest so I'm doing that and the discover card is for my business also and I'm doing like twenty thousand dollars in sales a month so there's no problem actually I have the money on hand I can do it whatever I want and as you can tell I'm paying off my credit cards I never had a late payment and you have a lot of negotiating power so she went ahead she looked it up and guess what when she came back she said hey Tommy here's your five thousand dollars I went to the Apple store got my iPhone X Max and I'm all good I'm all set so guys if you grab anything from this video it's that you need to subscribe and you like that button okay but all seriousness if you got anything from this video is that credit scores don't really matter while you're in the building process right and it doesn't really matter it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't matter the only way that it actually matters is if like you're out there getting a whole bunch of credit card getting in debt with money that you don't have and you're not making the payments you know you're gonna be screwed. So pay attention to that, and I'll see you guys next time. If you wanna watch more videos like this, subscribe, okay? I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. You've got to start at the bottom if you ever